Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert. Here's a few things to think about when crossfading. By crossfading, of course, I mean fading out a clip whilst a new clip is coming in when the two join together on the timeline so as to hide the edit. I mean, here we've got a tone, another tone. If I bring those two together and just have a hard edit like so, we'll get a click. But if I do this, we end up with a smoother edit, but you can probably hear there's a really distinctive little dip, which is not a good situation. That's because of the shape of the crossfades. If I, uh, rather than creating the fade like I did in that case, where I used the, uh, the smart tool, and uh, if I delete this, we'll see down here in the smart tool, rather than the other functions, we get a crossfader. And what we'll create there is we'll create a crossfade of the default shape with a bit of a dip in it, like we said. Yeah, no missing that. Um, you'll get that in here uh, in preferences, and it's right here. We've got defaults for all the different uh, fade types and crossfade, defaults to equal gain, which is a good choice most of the time. But in some specific examples, like this one, it's the wrong choice. And then usually, Equal power will sort it out, which is just a different shape. Or you can go completely uh, off-piste with none and select your own and all that kind of thing. Wouldn't recommend that in defaults unless you're doing something very specialised. But uh, uh, from the fades dialog, which you get by clicking on here, you can get to all that stuff again. And there is another way of creating a fade, which is just to make a selection and then just hit Command and F and you'll get this same fades dialog. If you have more than one crossfade, then you'll get a batch fade window, which uh, contains all the same stuff with some other options as well. And uh, yeah, very similar. Um, and yeah, there we are. So what I'll do is I'll create an equal power fade and we'll hear the situations much better. Now, in this case, I would say don't trust your eyes. Don't look up the waveform. That looks like there's a dip, but it sounds okay. So. I'd probably go with that one. Um, but yeah, that's test tones. We don't talk about those. Here I've got a couple of sort of whooshy type effects. And one going the other way. And I want to combine them together. And uh, equal gain, I mean, it works. They're different sounds. So anything is, is going to work. There won't be a click there. Sounds like this. And equal power. You see the different shape here. I'll zoom in a little, actually. Uh, sounds like this. Now for me, equal gain, equal power. Equal power works best for me in this case, but sometimes it's you have to listen and decide. So in that case, if all the examples so far have equal power has been the winner, then why is the default equal gain? That's because, well, especially when editing stuff like music and, and dialogue and the kind of audio we deal with every day, Equal gain tends to be the one that's most useful most of the time, certainly in my experience. Here we've got two different music edits. Uh, so we have... Never let this fade away. I keep that's equal gain. And here's the same edit, but with equal power. Never let this, fade away. I keep this one sounded louder to me. Sounds like there was an artificial kind of bump in level on that, on that snare hit over that edit. Listen again. Never let this fade away. Okay, and... Never let this fade away. Mm, definitely feels a bit heavy to me. And this is unsurprisingly an example where equal gain is the right one for a music edit. And that may well be your experience. Anyway, there's some things to know about you've got these different choices and most of the time you don't need to worry about it and occasionally you do. If an edit isn't working for some reason, you think there's something funny going on with the level, then have a look at it. You'll probably be fine just making those choices between equal power and equal gain. But if you need to go really properly custom, then of course you can.